Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So for today's video, I want to share some of my favorite movies. I recently posted a video sharing my top 10 favorite TV shows that I enjoyed watching. When I was coming up with these ideas, they're sounding kind of basic, so I apologize if, you know, my taste is just not what you prefer. Let's get started. So none of these movies I have like an order of preference but I have to say my number one favorite movie probably of all time is Dirty Dancing. The reviews on it, ratings throughout the years, honestly were never like that high for it. I just love this movie so much. I don't get tired of watching it. I feel like the soundtrack is also like what makes it so good. But there are just so many good songs. I'm gonna sing them for you. <clears throat> one of my favorite songs I would have to say is Be My Baby and it's just like, Won't you be my Still of the Night, or In the Still of the Night, I think is what it's actually titled. I know I'm a good singer. This is the movie that has like the iconic ending, I feel like that everyone has probably seen, with the lift, where Baby runs to Johnny, and honestly, a masterpiece. You can't tell me otherwise. Even that song is good. You know. Like do the dance all the time i used to do johnny <laughs> well you don't know but if you do know he like jumps off the stage and then he looks back and then he starts walking and then he gets all the people to come dancing with him <laughs> bitch i can go on all day about this movie is it really classified as like a rom-com i don't know i don't know but if you're not really into like cheesy type of movies then maybe just skip this one talking about dirty dancing just got me excited so we're gonna move on now this is another i feel like iconic masterpiece which is grease with John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. Is it Olivia Newton-John or did I just make up her last name? That's another movie that has a pretty decent soundtrack, honestly. I feel like a lot of these movies, it's like the soundtrack. Not so much that makes the movie, but makes the movie better. I don't know, I feel like this is just a classic. Looking back on Grease, these people were all like hella old and they're playing high schoolers. I feel like in today's society, like we would never allow this to happen, having like these old men play high schoolers like it's so crazy to watch but like it seemed normal they're just singing throughout the movie this is kind of like i guess another cheesy movie can't really think of any songs to sing though from greece Grease lightning go Grease lightning there's a one song that they did at the dance where it's like blue moon that's all i know really i love the love story of danny and sandy i think they're just so cute john travolta was so attractive in this movie honestly I loved Kaneki, which I think he died in real life, so R.I.P. So next, The Bodyguard. The name can speak for itself. Whitney Houston pretty much plays herself of being like a pop star ultimately. And then Kevin Costner comes in as her bodyguard trying to protect her. Whitney's character just doesn't really have a sense of protection or something. Like she just kind of acts like she's a normal person. She isn't really aware of like how her life can be in serious danger and it was in serious danger. Not very often do I say that a cartoon type of movie is my favorite but I have to give Moana you know a spot in this top 10. It's a cute story to me but I feel like it's kind of like inspirational because you know she wants to go past the what is it the reef? I don't know, but she wants to go out in the ocean to see like what's beyond and her family's like, no, you can't because you're not going to make it. I just feel like it's a really inspirational movie for like anyone, especially young kids too. I like that it has that aspect, but then it's also funny with Maui's character who is played by The Rock. <laughs> I need my car after Maui. I feel like it's something that I can always watch. I love Pua. I have a little stuffed animal Pua because he's my favorite. So number five on this list is the Titanic. That if it's on, bitch, I'm going to watch it. You know what's going to happen. You know that Jack is not going to make it. You know the Titanic's going to sink, but you still want to watch it. Celine Dion's most famous song, in my opinion. She probably hates this song and wants it to die. My heart will go on. I don't really think there's much to say about it. I love how Kate Winslet and Leonardo played the characters. I feel like they are soulmates, though. Like, in real life, you cannot tell me otherwise. They're meant to be together. Next is Save the Last Dance. This movie is with, what's her name? I want to say her last name's Styles. Styles? Julia Styles? Julia Styles, but it's Styles with an I, I think, not a Y. Anyways, I'm not even going to talk about the music. If you're into dance at all, or if you like dance type of movies, I feel like her character was really likable because she deals with a death in her family that pretty much changes her life. She does basically ventures off into other types of dance styles and then comes back to her original dance style. I think it's a cute little love story too that happens. My next two movies are some more dance movies. So Honey, this is with Jessica Alba. And she is basically just like a dance teacher that wants to open up her own dance studio, work with 
kids that come from not the best background. She tries like doing her own thing outside of the dance studio, but then ultimately comes back to it. I wish Jessica would do more like, I know she got older now, but I wish she would have done more like dance movies because she was so good in that. Next, I had Step Up. I don't really have a specific movie. I thought of the one with Channing Tatum and then Jenna Dewan, but I don't think Moose was in that Step Up. I don't think he came into that. I think it was later, so I'm not even gonna say a specific Step Up movie. I'm just gonna say the whole like franchise of Step Up. I do wish they would have stuck with like the same characters. I think every movie they were coming out, other than Moose, there was always two like main new love interests. I didn't really care about that plot of the story. I love just the dancing because they would just do some crazy shit. I don't even know which one it was where they all had like these LED jackets on and shoes or something and Moose was like leading it and they were all changing colors at the same time. It was so fucking cool to watch. I mean, what are y'all doing? Come out with a new one, I'm ready. This is another franchise that I feel like is also really good, Fast and Furious. They probably like the first one that came out maybe it was probably the best in my opinion i think as they continued along with making more movies it just lost i feel like the plot of the movie like they were doing really crazy shit that didn't seem like the whole idea of racing cars and stuff they like ventured off and they were you know dropping cars out of like these planes i mean it was very cool to watch but i like the original storyline that they had like in the first couple movies and then I absolutely love Paul Walker. Why do all my favorite characters be dying in real life? I don't know. They had the action but it was also funny because Vin Diesel was low-key funny and then a lot of these movies I feel are just like historic or something iconic. My last movie, this movie's been getting attention. I've been seeing memes with it because of the whole situation with Wall Street and all these stocks going up. Wolf of Wall Street. I just love Leonardo DiCaprio and it's crazy how he is as an actor. He can play like like any character that is given to him and I think that is honestly like talent and but his character in Wolf of Wall Street and Margot Robbie I fell in love with her too I think it was like very entertaining because a lot of it just seems so far out there but it's like this was actually happening for this guy I feel like it's the type of movie that like you don't really get bored because something is happening in this guy's life and at some points you almost feel bad for him but you're like you know what He's gonna figure a way out of this. They're just some of my favorite movies. Obviously, we all have different preferences. Let me know what some of your favorite movies are, and maybe I'll check them out and come back and let you know how they were. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.